Welcome back, people. So we're back with a brand new show called the AI Hedge Fund Show. The basic idea is that uh, I'll be unleashing my artificial intelligent agent onto the market. This agent will go out there and buy and sell stocks from the cross section and harvest some returns. So basically, an entertainment show. Let's see how well an AI does in the real world of trading. You don't have to wait too long. Let's get into it. So, uh, a huge channel overhaul in a sense. The, the channel going forward is going to be more about the, this AI algo. Uh, so, more details about this AI algo. It's basically a market neutral strategy. So, it goes high, it goes long, high expected return stocks, and it goes short, low expected return stocks. But, uh, so, by definition, it's not taking a bet on whether the market's going to go up or whether the market's going to go down. It also tries to stay dollar neutral, and by this uh, we mean that if you're ten dollars short, you have to be ten dollars long. So that's what happens. So you can arbitrarily really scale this position to a thousand dollars long or a thousand dollars short. You just try to be as close in terms of dollar values in the short and long positions to cancel out. It also only trades stocks, so this is not a, an algorithm that's going to trade cryptocurrencies, or forex, or futures, or commodities or currencies is strictly a truck stock trading algo and uh, finally the the ai usually holds positions between 1 to 20 days we always end up with a 10% stop loss so we might enter positions this morning and then be out of some of those positions by within the next hour if these stocks go against us by more than 10% right so we always try to limit our losses so we try to harvest the most in terms of returns, so we might have to be really holding for a long, long position, like days on end or a couple of weeks. So more of a swing trade strategy in a sense. So uh, I've been trading this for like the past two weeks, mostly on Collective 2s. So collective 2 is like a signal provision service. You can, uh, I'll provide the links in the the description and you can follow those links and see for yourself what the strategies have done. Unfortunately, the strategy that tries to trade the top 10 against the bottom 10% or top 10 bottom 10 stocks hasn't done too well through September. It lost around 15% of the starting value of the portfolio, but in the last couple of weeks it tried to call back some and look at it. The way it performed, I think going forward, uh, it's, it's going to come out of the hole. Uh, but for the top 20 against the bottom 20 and you know, the top 30 against the bottom 30, the story is slightly different. For these two algos that were launched just two weeks ago, and over the period, they've done, I would say, well, given the nature of the market over the last two weeks. So basically, the channel is mostly going to be following the trades of this artificial intelligence agent. It's going to be more of a trade review show. So why did the winners behave the way they did over the holding period? Why did the losers also behave the way they do? That will be an occasional focus. We don't want to make it too much of we lost, we lost, we lost. We really want to focus on those winners and try to exploit them more. So mostly entertainment, mostly cheerleading this artificial intelligence they turn on. And hopefully seeing in real time if these AI algorithms are just hype or they actually have what it takes to make money in the markets. Uh, so this is what the performance of the three, uh, three you can say, the three strategies that have been traded based based on the algo over the past three, more or less a month, right? So the machine learner one has been trading for I think a month and two weeks now. So the cumulative return is negative. It's in a drawdown. It's slowly coming out of that drawdown. Machine learner two and machine learner three were launched two weeks ago, and over the two weeks. You see, they've achieved cumulative returns of around 2.3%. And over the long haul, we will see how well they perform. You can subscribe to these strategies for trading 2 and 2 and just follow them yourself, or you can just tune in for your weekly entertainment of how this AI model performs. In terms of the collective 2 scoring, we're still scoring pretty low. All three models seem to be scoring around 73 or 100 for some reason. And I guess with uh, each passing week, they're slowly going to climb up the ladders and hopefully take up the number one position. So it's your lead on to see how they do in a couple of weeks. 
And in terms of uh, popularity, Machine Learner 1 has been there for the longest for some weird reason. Its popularity is way low at 24%. Machine Learner 2 and 3 have not been uh, there for just two weeks and they seem to have a much higher popularity. Uh, I guess in a couple of weeks, we might be 100% popularity in C2, given my expectations of these models. Uh, so in terms of plans going forward, I plan to at some point trade these strategies live. Uh, so all my YouTube uh, revenue is going to go into funding the live account. If you also want to fast track this uh, idea, you could uh, help by our Patreon. So people who want to see this channel grow, simple $3 support every month. People who want to fast track the live trading could chip in with much larger value. So basically, there are three there are three levels to to those who want to fast track this. So like a hundred dollars to one thousand and ten thousand. Obviously, I don't expect people to give this much. Maybe a hundred dollars to start with, and basically at some point, so the live trade. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take any money out of this. I'm just gonna reinvest all the winnings. And once the fund hits a million, that's when I be, I'll begin taking out the actual winnings. And then, based on the your voter level, if you you can you can help decide which charity gets uh, those monthly earnings from, from the strategy. As soon as we hit a million, we don't want to flood the market with our positions. All that extra earnings is going to go to some charity based on the voting consensus of the voting TS. Yeah, again, so once the fund hits a million, our monthly returns about the one million goes to a charity. You do vote in TS or the Patreon, so vote the one, two, three. Your weights are determined by whether you want your three, respectively, one, two, three weights. And then we decide where does the money go every month. Once we fall below it, you had a drawdown, you have to climb back up to 12 a million before we decide again. So that's the basic idea. Yeah, so uh, support us who want to follow the signals. You can do so by signing up on Collective 2. I'll provide the link in the description. And at some point, once I get some reasonable revenue from Collective 2, I plan to also open an, e an eToro account where subscribers outside of the US could also follow because uh, I guess you can only trade stocks on C2 if you're in the US. So going also the eToro route allows my global subscriber base to follow. And then we can all enjoy and uh, the AI hedge fund, right? Okay, so hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, help me get to a thousand subscribers, and then we'll take it from there. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Bye, guys.